This St. Louis city leaders are now making moves to make it easier to create shelters, but many neighborhoods aren't happy about the plan. First Lord Forest Nathan Vickers is live at City Hall, where Nathan an encampment is growing there. That's right. This encampment has certainly raised a lot of attention uh, about uh, different issues that the unhoused face here in St. Louis. And one thing that's been brought up throughout all this is the idea that there's not enough shelter space. And now some city leaders w uh, say that be the reason for the lack of shelter space is because it's too difficult to create more beds in the city. It can be a difficult experience to understand. We do need the helping hand. We are struggling. Edward Lee has lived it. He's been staying at the Peter and Paul shelter in Sutlard for six months, a shelter that held a press event today. This is a human rights issue. To draw attention to a need for more shelter space in St. Louis. As it stands, the current process for opening new shelters or expanding services to meet the needs of unhoused residents is all but guaranteed to end in failure. Megan Green is president of the Board of Alderman. She and Alderwoman Alicia Sonier want to replace an existing petition requirement for shelters, which they say has blocked the creation of new facilities. It actually creates more of a voice, but in giving that voice, it's more of a conversation than just a binary yes or no. They're also proposing what they call an unhoused Bill of Rights, which would keep the city from removing campsites without having a designated place to take people. What safe camping areas help to establish is a secure place for the unhoused to camp and live. Some neighborhood groups don't want those changes. Ultra as a policy tool is a bad policy tool. It grows homelessness. Ed O'Leary is a developer and part of downtown St. Louis, Inc. He's worried more shelters could attract more people seeking services. The likely effect is that we're going to grow the population of chronic homeless people living on the streets of the city of St. Louis. That is a step backwards. Other neighborhood groups are concerned about removing the petition process for shelters. You're taking away the voice, you know, of community people that invest in the city of St. Louis. Ken Ortman is a former alderman who says some neighborhoods are worried they would no longer have a say about potential shelters. There's not guidelines or conditions that people have to follow. Um, and from what I've seen in the past, it, it's only downhill. Green acknowledged those concerns um, and the stigmas and, and about the unhoused. You know, I am perfectly happy having a shelter in my own backyard. Advocates say the city needs solutions, especially headed into the winter months. I wish we have progress, you know. I hope we have this blessing of uh, open doors for us real soon. Now, the specifics on those proposals have not been published yet, but Green says they'll be introduced later this week. Reporting live in St. Louis, Nathan Vickers, First